Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everybody and welcome to the class once again. I hope that these classes are actually helping you speak better Japanese and you are learning a lot of things here. So well, we will do something new today. We will learn new forms, new vocabulary, new kanji characters. But before that, we will go over our assignments as we always do. So well, let us see what we have done. So the first assignment that we have here is readings for the kanjis and some there was something in column B over here, they were all jumbled up. So you have to get the correct reading for the kanji characters. So the first one is kuruma which is of course over here you can see. Second is Mizu. Now it is very interesting you have done this kanji character of Atsui also and I am sure you remember it also that what it means. It means hot. So if you want hot water in Japan you would naturally say Atsui Mizu because you have done this word for hot which is atsui. But for hot water it is not atsui mizu but it is oyu. So whenever you want hot water in Japan please say oyu onegai shimasu and not atsui mizu onegai shimasu. Please remember that. Then we have suki. Suki is like as you all know, you can like a thing, you can like a person, ski desu, that is the pronunciation, hatsuon. Then we have onna. One thing I would like to tell you over here is that please do not use onna for a lady. Onna is too direct, though the meaning is woman, but it does not sound very nice if you say onna, it is always onna no hito or jose which we did in one of our previous lessons. Then we have haha and of course haha is very informal for your own mother. You could also say ka san and for someone else's mother you would say o ka san please remember. Then we have haru which is spring and Fuyu, which is winter. Well, over here, tick the correct reading from the brackets. So, well, gakusei wa benkyou shite imasu. Tomodachi wa ima doko desu ka? Watashi wa mainichi chikatetsu de kaisha e ikimasu. Chika means underground, tetsu means iron and rails are made of iron. So well chika tetsu is underground railway system. Mainichi is every day, chika tetsu de mode of transport. Rao san wa toki doki hitori de again you have de over here. Hitori de means alone, ega o mimas. Toki doki is sometime. Then we have sensei wa raigetsu kara ichinen kan America ni imasu. So raigetsu kara from next month ichinen kan America ni imasu. Kippu wa nanmai arimasu ka because kippu it is flat, mai is used, counter mai is used. Kippu wa nanmai arimasu ka. Rao san ega no kippu 
namai arimasu ka can also be used while during conversation. Bus no naka ni dare mo inakatta, dare mo, no one. Inakatta you can see you can also end your sentence in plain form, it is informal, otherwise must form is always used. Then Michiko san wa kino tomodachi to ichijikan, then wa de again, then wa de with something you perform an activity. Then shumatsu ni picnic e ikimasho. And oto san no kekkon kinenbi no party wa doko de yarimasho ka, doko de, place de. Again you have a de over here, yarimasho is informal for shimas. So, yarimashoka you are talking amongst family, so well with family members, so well yarimashoka. Now we have kanji characters and the readings are given over here, let us see what it is. Yasui, kaeru, annai, jidosha, jidosha is something that operates on its own, which is a vehicle on wheels, something that moves on its own on wheels is jidosha, generally cars. Then we have okane, nenkin, nen is year and kin is money, so yearly or annually, your income. Then oshogatsu, Matsuri, eki, densha and jibun. Jibun means oneself. Then we have write the readings for the kanji words underlined. So, kuchi wo akete tabenai de kudasai. The words are given over here. You can check them out. There are nine words given and there are eight questions. So, well one is extra and you can cut that out. So, hana wa kire desu, basu wa mainichi osoi desu, suika wa takai desu, watashi wa yasui mono o kaimasen, sumimasen, go annai shite kuremasen ka? Now you have done this word kuremasu. Kuremas is to, to give to someone who is lower in age and rank to you. You have also done verb in te form plus kudasai or imas. So, joining verbs in te form you have already done over here, that is exactly what we are doing. Shite kuremasen ka, please will you kindly do this for me. So, when you are asking for a favor, your position is lower and thus you will use kure masen ka and masen ka of course is very very polite as we did much earlier. Then we have natsu wa atsui desu and ashita eiga o mi ni ikimasho. So, they are here you can check them out and Take the correct reading. You have more assignments, fill in the blanks with appropriate particles and question words. Doyatte koko kara jimushitsu e ikimasu ka? Doyatte is how, not by what means or mode of transport, how do you get to the jimushitsu from here? So, basically for directions. Achira no kata wa Donata sama desu ka? Donata is polite for dare and sama is polite for san. Kasa osoko ni oite kudasai. Place ni oku. Then, okaasan wa maitoshi watashi ni otoshi dama o kuremasu. She gives me. Also, you can say, okaasan wa maitoshi watashi ni Otoshi dama o okutte kuremasu. She sends to me. So, again, as we did te kuremasu in our previous exercise, 
you can also use tekuremas over here. Koko ni o namae to go jusho o kaite kudasai. O and go over here are used for politeness, for respect for someone else. Please do not use this for yourself, for your name and your address. Nani ka sumetai mono ga arimasu ka? Nani ka something? Minasan no shumi wa nan desu ka? Dare ka to doko ka e ikitai. Dare ka to doko ka e ikitai. Kino donna ega o mimashita ka? Ototoi watashi wa doko e mo ikana katta. As you can see over here, you can again end your sentence in plain form instead of mass form that is used normally, only it is a little direct and informal. Now, change the form and make proper sentences using verb plus ni form. Departo e nani o shi ni ikimashita ka? Kutsu o kai ni ikimashita. Doushite gakko e ikimasu ka? Benkyo shi ni gakko e ikimasu. Kazoku to issho ni goa e ikimasu. Goa e asobi ni ikimasu. Then, ashita kaimono ni or kaimono o shi ni ikimasu. Ni central market e ikimasu. You can also add that. Then, doushite kouen e ikimasu ka? Sampo shi ni ikimasu. Tomodachi to restaurant e ikimashita. Toshite to drink. Tomodachi to nomi ni restaurant e ikimashita. Otousan to ega kan e ikimashita. Otousan to ega o mi ni ikimashita. Then, kazoku to restaurant e ikimashita. To do what? To eat. Kazoku to isho ni restaurant e ikimashita. Tabe ni ikimashita. Then we have kino gakko e ikimashita. To meet the teacher, kino sensei ni ai ni gakko e ikimashita. So, well, you will see something over here. You will notice that is why the reason I have put assignment 3 over here is you will notice that all the time one verb only comes ikimashita. So, what is the reason? Sensei ni ai ni ikimasu, kaimono o shi ni ikimasu, restaurant e tabe ni ikimasu. So, what is it? Well, verb plus ni plus iku. Always it is like this. Watashi wa restaurant e tabe ni ikimasu. Ai ni ikimasu, nomi ni ikimasu or any of these examples that are given over here. Why is ikimasu over here? Well, with this pattern, what do you show? You generally show that a certain activity is being done. There is a purpose for performing a certain activity. Now, what are these? We have done this earlier. These are, this is a motion verb. Iku, kuru and kairu are motion verbs. Now, what does a motion verb mean? It means that you are moving from one place to another. Some movement is happening in a certain direction. Now, you would say that to run is also a motion verb. Some motion is happening, some action is happening in a direction. To walk is also the same. To jog could also be a motion verb. Jogging could also be a motion uh, action. Why does it not fall in that category? Well, with ikukuru and kairu, you are going in a certain direction. With jogging, with, with running, with walking or with maybe swimming, which could also be 
uh, interpreted as, uh, as an action verb, there is a specific manner in which that action is being performed. So, though it looks like that it is a, it's a motion verb, it does not fall in that category as you can read over here. Now, when you want to use another verb instead of ikimas, kimas or kairimas, what do you do? You cannot use this pattern, because this pattern only comes with this. For example, if you want to say watashi wa kamura o kaimashita, now why would you buy a camera? To take photographs, watashi wa kodomo no shashin o toritai. I want to take his photographs, watashi wa kamera o kaimashita, I bought a camera. So, well, watashi wa watashi wa kodomo no Shashin o tori mas. Now you cannot use this form. So what is the form? There is no iku over here. So what do we do? Watashi wa shi wa kodomo no shashin o toru tame ni ni. Toru tame ni kamera o o kai ma shita. So over here, what can you see? Your purpose is very very clear. Why you performed a certain activity? Why you did this is very clear. That to take photographs, I bought a camera. So now you will see the difference in these two. Over here verb plus ni form will only take iku and if you want to use another verb, then tame ni is going to be used. Both show purpose, but there is a slight difference. You can see from the examples, nihon jin to hanasu tame ni ima nihongo o benkyo shite imasu. Now, if I ask you why are you learning Japanese? So, you can give me a number of reasons. You want to read Japanese, you want to talk to Japanese people, you want to go to Japan. So, now you cannot say ikimas, then you will use tame ni, I am doing a certain activity as is given over here in this example. Then shodo o suru tame ni fude o kaimashita. Shodo is calligraphy, fude is brush. So, for the purpose of doing calligraphy, I bought brushes. Jikken no shashi no toru tame ni kamera o kaimashita. So, with the purpose, I bought a camera. So, now you can use tame ni very clearly. You can also practice over here. We have done this photograph a number of times. He is ringing up someone. Tomodachi to au yakusoku o suru tame ni for the purpose of fixing a program suru tame ni denwa o shimashita. For this purpose, I am ringing up my friend. Over here, he is having medicine. This photograph also you have done a number of times. Well, hayaku genki ni naru tame ni kusuri o nomi mashita. To get better quickly, I am having medicine. So, you can use tame ni like this and you can now I am sure you have understood how verb ni plus iku and verb tame ni can be used. Also please remember with tame ni as you can see over here verb is always in plain form. Now we will just do this small dialogue over here, listen to it carefully and then I will explain. Today は昨日より暑いですね。そうですね。でも明日はもっと暑くなりますよ。本当ですか？本当ですよ。今朝テレビで聞きました。
So I am sure everything was clear. We have done all of it except for these two things, one motto and atsuku narimasu. Anyway, I will read it once again to you. Kyo wa kino yori atsui desu ne. We did yori last time. Kyo wa kino yori atsui desu ne. Today it is hotter than yesterday. So desu ne. Demo ashita motto atsuku narimasu. Honto desu ka? Really? Honto desu yo. Kesa terebi de kiki mashita. I heard today in the morning on television. So, simple conversation, I will just explain motto atsuku narimasu. This is of course in the script, you can go over it, do your hiragana and kanji and of course your katakana. This is your explanation, but again I would like to tell you that this is what you would say in English, not a literal translation of what is given in Japanese. Now, there was this word narimas or you could say the verb narimas narimas means to become to express some change or transformation in the present state as is written over here narimas is used it translates to to become to appear to seem in english now you have done atsui Samui, takai, yasui. These adjectives you have done. If you remember, yasui is cheap, hot, cold, and expensive, and so many others. Akai, red. So, when you want to change an adjective into an adverb, what do you do? You remove the i from here and put ku and that makes it an adverb. Now, if you put narimas over here, narimas. So, something has become cheap, something or hon, hon, yasuku narimashita, it has become cheap, ringo. Initially, the apple is green. So, ima midori desu. Ringo wa akaku narimashita. It means that it has become red. Ima atsuku narimashita. It has become hot. Ashita samuku narimasu. Tomorrow, it is going to be cold. Tokei wa or instead of toke, yasai wa takaku narimashita. So, narimas means to become and you can use it like this. You can see that how nouns and adjectives can be used with narimas. Atsuku narimashita, it has become hot. Watashi wa sensei ni naritai. I want to become a teacher. So, when you are using it with nouns, then ni is going to be used. Sensei ni naritai. Sensei ni narimas. Sensei ni narimashita. I hito ni narimashita. Or over here with na adjectives, yume ni narimashita. Rippa ni Narimashita because nouns and na adjectives follow a similar pattern. So, please remember with i adjectives, remove the i, put ku and narimas with noun, add ni before narimas and with na adjectives again add ni before narimas. You can practice now. There is this picture of Rao san in a plaster and then he becomes all right. So, Rao san wa genki ni narimashita as we did earlier. Then there is a classroom scene over here. Shourai sensei ni 
Narimas. In the future, I will become a teacher. Then you have someone really sweating and it is really hot over here. So, well, Atsuku Narimashita. It has become very hot. And then we have another picture over here of someone who is feeling very cold, has a cap and a coat on. So, well, that is Samuku Nari Mashta. It has become very, very cold. Last time in our last class, we did comparisons. And one of the words that we did was Ichiban. These are simple yori. Then we also did nohoga or dochira. All these words we we did last time. So well, today there is another word for you. You can see over here it is motto. Motto means more. This is also for comparison means more than something. So, well, you can see from the example, kono jisho wa ano jisho yori motto furui desu. It is more furui or old than this jisho or this dictionary. This dictionary is much older than that dictionary and also ringo wa yasui desu. Apples are cheap, a simple statement. Ringo wa motto yasui desu. Apples are cheaper. And of course, from this you can easily make out that you are comparing ringo wa motto yasui desu than of course, something. So, you can also use motto. It comes before the adjective and shows degree. Practice now. There is this book. There are two books over here. One is old, one is a little new. So, well, sono hon wa kono hon yori motto furui desu. Sono hon wa kono hon yori motto furui desu. Again, you have two cameras, one a little old and one maybe much of a much later date. So, well, sono kamera wa kono kamera yori motto furui Now, you have done intention, how to show intention, how to show that I want this or I want to do something. You have done with verb tai form and hoshi desu, hoshi desu. Okay? So, well, there is something else today for you. We are going to do sumori as you can see. And sumori is your intention, what you intend to do or what you believe you want to do. So, with sumori you can easily express intention. Now, because it is your intention, what you want to do, thus it is used in first person by the speaker. And if you want to ask someone as to what their intention is, what they plan to do, well then you can ask it in question form. Do you tsumori desu ka? Watashi wa ashita iku. Tsumori desu. I intend to go tomorrow or ashita ikanai sumori desu. I do not intend to go tomorrow. So, well, you will notice that again it is in plain form. Over here verb is in plain form. Now, Rao san, ashita iku tsumori desu ka? Do you plan to go tomorrow? Do you intend to go tomorrow? So, then it is with question ka. So, well, see from the example, watashi wa ashita iku tsumori desu. I intend to go tomorrow. Ashita iku tsumori desu ka? 
do you intend to go tomorrow? So, when you are asking about someone as you do not know about the intention, thus ka is used. Watashi wa ashita kaisha e iku tsumori ga nai. I have no intentions of going to office tomorrow. So, that is how you will use tsumori. You can practice over here. You can ask anyone what their intention is, what they plan to do. As you can see over here, Rao san, party ni nani o kiru tsumori desu ka? Please remember, tsumori will always take a plain verb in plain form. As you can see over here as well, Rao san, party ni nani o kiru tsumori desu ka? Watashi wa yofuku yori indo no dento teki na fuku ga suki desu. Kara sore ni shimasu. I will decide on that. Or you could also say it very simply, kuni no dento teki na fuku ni shimasu. Dento teki is traditional, traditional fuku ni shimasu. Fuku is clothes, yofuku is western clothes. So, well, Rao san wa indo jin desu kara indo no dento teki na fuku ni shimasu. Sore o kitai kara sore ni shimasu. Ashita nani o suru tsumori desu ka? What do you plan to do tomorrow? Kamera o kau tsumori desu. Or kai ni ikimasu. You could use any of these. Ashita nani o suru tsumori desu ka? Kuruma o kau tsumori desu. Kuruma o kai ni ikimasu. Ashita nani o suru tsumori desu ka? Ongaku kai ni iku tsumori desu. Or nani o suru tsumori desu ka? Doko e mo ikanai tsumori desu. I don't plan to go anywhere. So you can also use tsumori like this. All these are used in daily conversation, thus it is important to learn these and practice these as well. Now you can practice your tsumori. There is this simple picture over here of Mariko san and Taro kun or Tanaka san and Neha san and they are thinking of computer and camera. So, let us see what the question is. Hajimete no kyuryo de nani o kaimasu ka? Hajimete is first. Curio is salary. Nani o kaimasu ka? Well, what does she say? Computer o kau tsumori desu. I intend to buy a computer. And then, Rao san, kamera o kau tsumori desu ka? Now you can see the question over here because you are asking about someone else's intention. Rao san, kamera o kau tsumori desu ka? Hai, so desu. Ashita Kai ni ikimasu. I will go tomorrow to buy it. So, you can use these very freely, very nicely. I am trying to show it to you how it is to be done and you can do your conversation. Now, what does this look like? This is a coffee shop. You can see the waiter over here and Tanaka san, he is asking something. Now, what does he say? O matase shimashita. Go chumon onegai shimasu. So he says, I am sorry to have kept you waiting. Please tell me what you want. Chumon is order. What do you want to order? Well, he says, kohi onegai shimasu. Please get me coffee. You could also say, kohi to keiki onegai shimasu. So, this is a simple, simple way of ordering at the restaurant. Now, we do kanji all the time. These kanjis you have done, these characters you have done earlier. I will just make them for you. Do you remember doing this all of you? What, what does this look like? Nichi. What does this look like? Doyobi or Tsuchi which is soil. We did this with omiyage as well and doyobi. 
So, well, we join these and make atsui, simple. And one more nichi over here. So, two nichis plus a doyobi and you cut it in between and that is how atsui is to be made once again and atsui. So, let us see how many strokes are there. We have 12 strokes 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 strokes to this character. Then we have another one and this is important because I am going to tell you kotowaza with this. So, well 1, 2 and you remember doing this do you all of you I am sure. Do not you remember doing this? This is kuchi, this is ishi over here together means a stone. How many strokes to this character? Well, 5. Now, we have kiku which means to hear or listen. You have done this character. This looks like a gate, is not it? So, and you have also done this character which is mimi. So, well, join these two and sorry, mimi. So, that is how you will get kiku. Kiku. Once again for you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So, that is how it is a 14 stroke character. Let us see what this says. Yes, it is a 14 stroke character. So, please try to remember all these are there in your lesson Atsui, Ishi and Kiku. Ishi is going to come now. Now, I also want to tell you something over here. Look at this dialogue. It is a simple dialogue, but something very interesting. Rao san, hiru goha no tabemashoka. Sumimasen. Watashi wa mo tabemashita. I am sure you can make out from my expression what mo means. Can you tell me? Well, it means already. Watashi wa mo tabemashita. I have already had my food. This is the translation in English. You can go over it. Otou san, mo hachiji desu. Hayaku ikimashou. So, yo. So, well, otou san, mo hachiji desu. It is already 8 o'clock. Hayaku ikimashou. Let us go very, very quickly. So, yo. Rao san say, so, yo. Yeah, that is true. Hayaku ikanai to. Osoku narimas. Osoku narimas you have done, which means to be late. And ku narimas we did in this lesson earlier. Then, if, in case, then osoku narimas. So well, so yo hayaku ikanaito. If I do not go early, then osoku narimas. So mo over here, mo means already. This is the translation in English. You can go over it. Again, there is another more practice for you. Mo kairimasu ka? Are you going already? So this. Mo juji desu kara? It is already 10 o'clock. Kaeta hou ga ii desu. It is better that I return now or go back now. Ara juji desu ka? Oh, is that so? It is 10 o'clock. Watashi mo kairimasu. I will also return. So, well with mo you can use it in this manner like this different situations, different combinations mo means already. This is the translation in English. You can go over it. There is another thing I want to tell you today. These are words you can use makes your conversation better, language better, your spoken skills can be seen very clearly. Rao san, eiga no kippu nima yarimasu kara ikimasen ka? 
polite way of inviting someone. Donna ega desu ka? Which ega are you talking about? America no yume na gone with the wind desu. Zannen desu ga? It's really too sad. It's too bad for me. Kino ano ega o mimashita. I saw the film yesterday. Why ano over here? Because both of them, both the listener and the speaker, both know about gone with the wind. This is how you would use zannen. It's too bad. It's too sad. I am so sorry that I am unable to go for the film with you. Zannen this. It's too bad. There is another zannen conversation over here usage. You can see. Ara, Rao san, ryoko e ikimasen deshita ka? Ryoko no kippu o nakushimashita kara. And you leave your sentence. Sore wa ne, zannen desu ne. So, what does it mean? Rao san, you didn't go for your trip? Well, I lost my tickets. That's too bad. It's a sad situation to be in. So, that's how you would use zannen. Now, as I always do, we are going to do a kotawaza. You can see this boy over here sitting on something. It's raining and he is all tense and looking very determined. So, what does it look like to you? It's a kotawaza. Kotawaza, as I told you earlier, are words put together in a sentence form, in a small sentence. So, to give lot of meaning to explain something in short. Those are kotowazas, those are proverbs, they have a long history and are very, very cultural. They tell you about the culture of the place, about the people, about the thinking of the people and there is one for you over here, this boy sitting on something. Let us see what it is. Ishi no ue ni mo sannen. Ishi, I told you just now, is stone. You saw I made the kanji for it. Ishi no ue is on top. Nimo sanen, three years. So that is the translation over here. Now it's in Roman. Ishi no ue nimo sanen. What does it mean? What can you understand from here? Well, the literal meaning of this is Ishi is stone, sitting on a stone for as long as three years. That's the literal translation. That's what it means. That's what it says. But what does it mean actually? What is the meaning? What is the hidden meaning behind this? Well, you can look at the boy and you can also make out. Well, it says that determination, perseverance will solve any difficulty. You will overcome any difficulty that you have. Meaning, that if you sit on a stone which is cold and hard for as long as three years for such a long time with so much determination, even the stone which is so hard would become warm, which is cold would become warm, would soften a little. So, if you are determined, if you are, if you are patient, you are determined, you know what you want, your goals are set, then definitely you will succeed, you will reach your goal, you will attain, you will get what you want. That speaks of the Japanese people as well, that you have to be determined in what you are doing. Perseverance gets you everything. As you can see, perseverance overcomes all difficulties. So, you have to be very, very determined and set in your goals, in what you want. Now, you can see Ishi is stone, Ue is above and Sanen is three years. So, this could be for anyone actually, for anybody. You just have to be determined, persistent in what you are doing whatever it may be and you will finally achieve it. You have to be patient. Patience gets you everything finally.
Well, this is vocabulary for you. You can see kotatsu is given. This is a Japanese low table and uh, this is very popular with the Japanese because in the cold weather, you can put a quilt on top of it and it has a small heater inside and it keeps you nice and warm. So, kotatsu is a small low table. Then toteki, as you can see is traditional, ishi, kiru, ongaku, kyurio, yofuku, nakusu, zannen. So, these are all the words, you can practice them and now we have the small section of hiragana and katakana together you can compare the two, you can see if you write on a graph sheet it is so much better, your character syllables are more proportionate and you can memorize them easily, remember them easily. These are cursive as you can see, these are very very angular as I have been telling you all along. So, now you can compare and with this my work is over, your work begins now, you have your shukudai to do and there is kanji for you again, there are some pictures, figure out the kanji characters, fill in the blanks, the words are given over here, you can fill them up, there are some extra words for you and then we have these kanji characters again, not the pictures, just the characters and the readings. These are opposites, so try to put in the opposites in their correct places. You have particles and interrogative words to fill in over here and you have verbs over here, change them write their proper form and fill in this sheet. Well, minasan, sore de wa minasan, kyo wa kore de owarimasu. Mo takusan benkyo shimashita kara kyo wa kore de owarimasu. Kondo wa mata atarashi koto o benkyo shimashou. Sore de wa thank you very much and we will meet again next time for our next class.